going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today we're discussing Mary Poppins Returns. Mary Poppins Returns takes place in a depressed era London and now with grown Jane and Michael Banks along with Michael's three children are visited by the elegant Mary Poppins following a personal loss. Through her unique magical skills with the aid of her friend Jack she helps the family rediscover the joy and wonder missing from their lives. This was a movie that I, I'm not a, you know what, I, I like Mary Poppins, but I never grew up with it. But I was still looking forward to this. The music, the colorful effects, everything from that original Mary Poppins, the magic and feeling that I got from that watching a child reminded me of when I first stepped into Disneyland for the first time. And Mary Poppins Returns brings a lot of that magic back. It really... As I was watching it, I, I I could not imagine a kid this being their first experience to Mary Poppins because they're going to feel not just joy and wonder, but just that magical feeling that you do get. This film filled me with a lot of those feelings of magic, and it really related me and brought me back to my early memories of going to Disneyland for the first time and brought me to those magical feels and I absolutely love what Mary Poppins Returns does. I'll actually go as far as to say I love this film. I found this film to be wonderful and magical and delightful in all sorts of the ways. And it's more than just a I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! There's so much to dissect into this movie. And one of the big things I think a lot of people are wondering is how's Emily Blunt as Mary Poppins? I think she'll be nominated for an Oscar. I, I think she's that elegant and beautiful and just perfection all around as Mary Poppins. I remember earlier this year when I saw A Quiet Place, I her performance in there, she had a very subtle moment with her child and teaching him. And in that small instance, just through the look in her eyes and the way that she emoted herself, I said, that is going to be our next Mary Poppins. And I can totally see why. She was so splendid in here. And I loved every single moment she was in here. The second she comes on screen to the second that she leaves the screen. Every single scene that she is in is filled with joy and magic. And that is when the film is firing on all cylinders. It really goes far to say how much her performance really elevated this film. Is because when she's not in the film, the film's still enjoyable. And you're still having a nice time. But you don't get that magic and wonder. I wonder if that's what Rob Marshall was going for. Because every time she's in the film, it just lights up and brightens the screen i mean maybe that's what they were really doing but every time she's not it kind of goes back down until they start to relive and get to their joyful selves again that's really what they were going for i absolutely acclaim rob marshall for what he did i think he did a brilliant job directing this film i think the script in here is very smart almost all the songs in here are great besides one really most notable song that doesn't really stick within my head all these songs are gonna be stuck in your head you're gonna be listening to them all day long and you're gonna be enjoying them and I can't tell you how many times that I just had a big smile on my face. You've seen some of the stuff in the trailers where they are swimming underwater. And throughout that song, it's it's beautifully animated. And I think a lot of people might have problems with the CGI. But I actually like what they did with the CGI. Making it a little bit cartoony in that ocean. And making it not as realistic, but just very unique to itself. And it really feels like you're watching a Broadway play and it feels like it really fits in with the continuity of the original Mary Poppins. Easily my favorite segment of the whole entire film is the 2D hand-drawn animation. I'm a big buff when it comes to animation. I've been acclaiming and wanting Disney to do more 2D stuff and I'm wondering because what you see in the trailer, there's a whole segment to this that I have to be thinking that Disney is looking to see if people want more of this. And I think after this film, I'm calling it, we will get another 2D animated film because it is amazing what they did within this film and the way that Mary Poppins moves around in there. That, that the song, the set piece, the dance numbers, everything within that scene is my favorite segment of the whole entire movie. And I think a lot of people are really going to love that segment. Mary Poppins Returns is everything you've wanted and more. It has the magic, it has the joy, it has the wonderfulness of Mary Poppins. And it's going to be able to put a big smile on your face. You're going to feel the magic within yourself. And I, and I cannot wait to see what you guys think of it. But also, I can't wait to go see this film again during the holiday season when a bunch of families are going to see this film and to take their kids to experience Mary Poppins for the first time. It's going to be a joyful thing. And it really just takes you back to those early days of when you got to see Disneyland for the first time or when you saw the original Mary Poppins and got filled with that magical and joy. This film teaches some nice messages about loss and love. It goes deeper into those elegance of family and what family really means without being preachy and hitting you on the top of the head. Mary Poppins Returns really returns with full magic. And besides having an overly long song that could have been a little bit chopped up with some of the pacing being a little bit could have been a little bit more seamless 
I had a blast watching Mary Poppins Returns. I had a huge smile on my face the whole entire time. Emily Blunt is perfection when it comes to Mary Poppins. She's just right up there with Julia Andrews. It really just comes out to say that Mary Poppins Returns is, well, amazing. This is definitely a film you want to take your family to. Make sure to check it out, guys. So with all that said, I'm going to give Mary Poppins Returns an A-. minus. Really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this film, so comment down below and tell me what is your favorite segment from Mary Poppins Returns, and what is your favorite song from the original Mary Poppins. Let's discuss it down below, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. If you guys are new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, because I do tons of movie reviews, early, new, old, re revisit all sorts of things on this channel, and I want to have a great discussion with you guys about movies. So guys, of course, if you guys want to check out some movies early, make sure to hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there we provide movie reviews, movie news, and even advanced movie screens, and and until next time, guys, hope to see you soon. Stay classy.